Hey YouTube, Corey Walker here, owner of Rocky Top Solutions. Today we are going to go over the encryption options that Amazon S3 provides and the pros and cons of each so you know when to use each one. Let's get to it. All right, so whenever you're in here creating a new S3 bucket, I uh, just created a sample test bucket here. Um, you just hit next. And if you could look right down here under default encryption, you can check the box. And the two main encryption options are the default AES-256. That is um, the default S3 encryption option. That's probably the best option for a lot of people and a lot of companies. Um, you don't have to have any special keys in Amazon KMS. Um, and also KMS, each time you add an object or you retrieve an object from S3, if you're using KMS option, you have to pay one of the retrieval fees uh, or adds up for the retrieval um, pricing, which I will link to in the description below. Um, so it's not free. Each lookup and put will incur a lookup for that key in a K KMS. And so if you're using a lot of puts and retrievals from S3, those prices can really add up pretty quick. So the AES-256 option does not um, require any kind of KMS lookup, so you don't incur any uh, costs whenever you put or retrieve using that option. Uh, however, using the KMS option, you can control more of when all the encryption keys are rotated um, revoked, anything like that. So you have a little bit more control over the security of the encrypt encryption keys. So if security is a really big deal and the pricing is not such a big deal, KMS is the way to go. If you want security, but you're not really, really needing strict security and you're more price conscious, the AES-256 is the way to go. Uh, um, Amazon S3 did also recently add the option for using customer provided keys and which is um, another option they just recently um, released which I will link to in the description below so you can check out the documentation a little bit more on that if you want to go that route um, and there is an option to also encrypt client side before so encrypting before you send to S3 over the HTTP requests and then also decrypting after you get the data from uh, a HTTP request. So <clears throat> normally everybody uses HTTPS to begin with anyway. So the client side is not quite as important, but it also will add a little bit more security. But keep in mind that it does add a lot of processing overhead on the client before and after. So there's some SDKs for client-side encryption for different languages. Okay, so for the client-side encryption, you do have the um, SDKs that you can use for different languages. Uh, and for the customer-provided encryption keys, you have a couple of SDKs you can use and also a REST API you can use for the client-provided encryption keys for S3 encryption. So there's a different options that you have for uh, encryption and Amazon S3. So utilize them if you can. Um, definitely make your data a little bit more secure just in case something happens and some of your data leaks. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button below as it'll help others find this video as well so they can uh, be able to learn the different encryption options that Amazon S3 does. And if you would like to see more tutorials like this uh, related to Amazon S3, uh, AWS in general, Angular, or other technology tutorials, please subscribe. Um, I should be posting uh, roughly about every week for a new technology tutorial, so stay tuned for that. And we'll see you next time.